Alright guys, so a new type of video that I don't think you guys would have seen before. I have decided to do a video series making fun of old videos of other YouTubers. So I've picked some of my favorite YouTubers and I'm going to do a couple videos where I'm basically going to go back, see their first videos and see how good they were or how awkward they were. So first person I've picked for this is the one and only Shmi150 who I did Gumball and a Euro trip with. And I told Tim, you may know his name is Tim, that I was going to go through his old videos and try and uh, sort of see how awkward he was. And he said, go for it. I bet you there's some awful ones. So let's get started. So the first video of Tim's we're going to watch is the third he put on his daily vlog channel called Supermarket Shop. Uh, I can see his old Aston Martin V8 Vantage. And here we go. 26 seconds. Ah, oh, he looks so young. Oh, that is hilarious. Matching t-shirt or shirt. Very classy. The, the, what? The, sorry, what? The sun, what? The sun, shit. Let's listen to that again. But for now, we've got a shop in the Aston and it's time to head back into the sunshine. Head back into the sunshine. Yeah, sure, Tim. Let's head back into the sunshine. Oh, what's this one? Sunny weekend, not the end. What does that mean? Nice shades, Tim. Rocking that look. Someone's going a haircut. Yeah, some of you want to miss out again, but it's really not. Awkward pause. Stay tuned. Uh, we'll have something new tonight. Oh, yeah. exciting. See you later. Oh, someone's getting in trouble. You're getting beeped at there, Tim. You should maybe move out of the way. All right, let's go find another I video. What do we have? What do we have? Say well, International. You look like you have a stunning face there. Actually, let's leave it out of full screen. It's doing this weird thing when I go in full screen. Okay, okay, wait, wait. wait. I'm going to pause the video here. First of all, what the hell happened to your hair, Tim? Uh, I, I, I don't explain, did you not have a shower in the morning, uh, I'm not too sure, but your hair looks better now, keep it the way it is. Can't really hear what you're saying. What the hell is that? That's your camera gear? You've got like some little fluffy cat on your camera and why do you have a tripod? All right, all right, that took a while to get out. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it's been a good fun day. <laughs> Resisting the urge, Zonda S Roadster. Why, were you about to buy one? What was going on? I can see that. And I just noticed that the key. Take it, go for it. Okay, to be fair. Can I resist? Can I resist? Have to probably. Anyway, catch you later. Wait, 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 wait. Do I resist? Do I resist? Have to probably. Have to probably think about not stealing this man's Zonda. That's probably a good idea, Tim. Have to probably. Anyway, catch you Yeah, you should. Door mirror corrosion. One of people's favorite subjects about a car. Your blood, 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 your blood, blood, blood. Yeah, uh, yeah, not the best taste. Actually, At least you pulled yourself out. Uh, the door mirror down here has a little bit of corrosion. A little bit of corrosion? Mate, you have a fucking beach growing on your door mirror. That is insane. What the hell have you been doing to that car? Corrosion and rust. It's a painter's bump on the other side. Um, yeah. It also, I think it's not corrosion, Tim. I think someone just stuck a piece of gum on uh, your door mirror. I got straight to the phone, even though that's pretty much the only major problem I've had with the Aston Pretty much the only major problem. Well, in all of your past cars, have you had several major problems? Or has the Aston just had lots of little small problems? You might want to elaborate. So we've had the car goes in for a certain little raffle on the inside, they're going to have a look at that too. But apart from that, all is pretty good, um, so I'm very happy. Uh, okay, you don't sound very convincing. Uh, yeah. You have a little yes. rattle on the inside, you have a beach growing on your door mirror, and apart from that, the rest is pretty good. Convincing. Yeah, that's life. Anyway, I better get on with my washing, so I'll catch you later. <laughs> I love that. I better get on with my washing uh, right after I fix my Aston Martin, just cash. Heading to Dubai tomorrow. 
Oh, this one looks good. This one looks good. Aston Martin 177 registry car number 65. The lighting looks great here. Oh, yes, this is fantastic. I can't even see where you are. It's basically just an audio tape of Tim talking about Aston Martin. Can anyone else hear what he's saying? I have no idea. Alright, so I've now been binge watching Tim's videos for a while, as you saw, and the conclusion is that they were pretty awkward, but actually, to be fair, not as bad as I thought. I mean, you've come a long way since then, Tim, and I want these videos also to be, like, proof for anyone who's trying to start a YouTube channel that, like, anyone can do it. We all start off not being comfortable in front of the camera and everything. I'm gonna do a video on my first, uh, my first videos, vlogs that I put online where you'll see I was completely awkward as well. So it's completely normal and it's just poking fun at a little bit of friends. So anyways, if you want to see this with other YouTubers, if you want to see me do more of Tim's videos, Comment below, just give me everything you want, and I will be back doing more of these videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye! This is insane. This P1 is mental.